Right on board for a second with J.P. Bergeron. Wow. Oh, he goes around hard on the brakes. I don't think he had help in the prolonged controls, number one. Right over to the ignition switch, puts that many more cars on the racetrack. Have another look at what happened. Way up the top of your screen, you're going to see Wallace all by himself, just under throttle, get a little bit loose. And around he goes, but this will give an opportunity for some drivers to come down pit lane if they so choose. That's a great shot from our drone camera. Let's have a look at the replay. Right at the very back, he's up at the top of the yeah. screen. He knew he had a problem right from the start. And there you can see, as soon as he started to turn in, the acting as his spotter. And oh. look at that, Tagliani makes contact with the nine, and they continue down the back straight away. Oh, my goodness. Into the wall goes the 18 as Watson continues on, but under caution. That's the crash that just wouldn't end. No, it started all the way in turn two and finished in turn three. Let's see what kind of view we have of this. The two were racing for position well inside the top 10. So Watson was up on the outside, Tagliani trying to fill that hole. Watson coming, coming down, Tag wanted the spot, but this is what's strange to me. It's right on board, Trayton Lapsovich. Tag outside as Cameron tries to dive onto the flat underneath the nine of Brandon Watson. Now the two leaders will duel side by side. In through three and four. Oh, it's a mess. And there's contact. Around goes Lacroix as Andrew Ranger poked the nose. There is a lot to unwrap there. Oh, wow. What as, a parking lot off of turn four. As you hear the crowd react to what just happened, Kevin Lacroix pulled move to go to the outside. Let's look at this replay. He's trying to take the lead. Look at what's in front of him. So they were already three wide. Now you're almost four wide. Lacroix dives to the inside and contact is made. I, there is such thing as a racing deal, and I would say that's a racing deal. But let's ride on board with Andrew Ranger. He was committed. He was there. There's no way he could have avoided. And Ranger did the polite thing. He backed out. Like, he hit the brakes instead of finishing, pushing Lacroix all the way around. And probably saved Lacroix from hitting the inside wall, too. I'll bet you he did. Onto the grass. He managed to stick down. Currently in 18th. Remember, he came into this race fourth in points. So this will be a hit for sure. Oh! Oh, look at this! Into the nine! Goes tagging up into the wall. Goes the 18 as Watson who is looking for a way around the 27, finds himself looking in the wrong direction. That was deja vu all over again. The 18 and the nine making contact. Possible payback for that original incident. I really want to have another look at that, Dave. I, I saw what I saw and it, it didn't look good, but I'd like to have another look and, and see how this shook down. Again, it's not so much how it started, it's how it finished. Let's take another look. So there's the 18 on the inside, the nine going by up high, in through one and two. It, it's it's the speed Tagliani was carrying into the beyond the contact that makes me more suspicious. Let's ride with Trayton Lapsovich. He gets a good view. He has to stop to avoid. Cameron and Lacroix will power their way in through one and two. Rangers right there, so is Donald Teague. Ranger right on the bumper of Mark Antoine Cameron. Didn't make contact there in one and two. Look at the run, Kevin Lacroix, white flag in the air. Lacroix does have a nose up on the outside. Can he stick it through one and two? No, he can't. Look at the 96 power on the inside. His only choice is to try to make that outside work, but it's going to be Mark Antoine Cameron over Kevin Lacroix and Andrew Ranger. What a race here in Edmonton.